Okay, I'm going to go with this one time more, uh, try to help people understand. Um, you know, everybody's talking, everybody's talking about all the Satanism that's going on and um, all the different secret societies and things like that. I'm not saying everybody, but those that are going to want to get to the truth, you know, they're talking about that. So uh, who's at the head of it all? Who's at the head of the pyramid, you know? Um, a lot of people have different opinions, you know. Oh, it's uh, this group, that group, uh, you know, all that stuff. But uh, um, the Bible tells you the answer. God knows the answer because He knows the end from the beginning. See, so He, he already knew a long time ago. And um, you read Revelation, the 17th chapter, verse 18, it says, And the woman which thou sawest, is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth. Now we're speaking about Babylon the Great, that great city that reigns over the kings of the earth. And there's all these different opinions about who she is. And I'm the only one, I think, that says that Babylon, that this great city, Babylon the Great, is Jerusalem. And that she will rule the world from, from, from Jerusalem when that Antichrist appears there. Why do I say Jerusalem? Well, if you check out Revelation, the 11th chapter, it says, it says that I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they will prophesy 1,260 days dressed in sackcloth. And if any man shall harm them, fire proceeds out of their mouth and devours their enemies. Uh, and it says that they will prophesy in the streets of that great city, which is called spiritually called Sodom in Egypt, where our Lord was also crucified. Our Lord, that's Jesus Christ. What city was he crucified in? It wasn't New York City. It wasn't Rome. It was Jerusalem. So Jerusalem is that great harlot that reigns over the kings of the earth. And, that, and, and if you look around, you should be able to see how obvious that is, you know. Um, I want to hear a quote from uh, Prime Minister Ariel Sharon on October 3rd, 2001. He said, every time we do something, you tell me America will do this and that if you do, if you do that. He said, I want to tell you something very clear. Don't worry about American pressure on Israel. We, the Jewish people, control America. And the Americans know it. That's right, all the politicians know it. If you don't believe that, just take a look at the back of the dollar bill. You know, let me see if I can get it here. Oh, okay, it comes in, yeah. What do you see on the top of the American eagle there? Well, you have the Star of David. And in his, in his pinions, or his uh, claws, his feet, you see an olive branch and arrows used in war. That means that you either make peace with us, with the olive branch, or you're going to get the arrows, man. We're going to make war on you. This is what's been happening. This is what Bush, when he says, either you're for us or you're against us. You look on the other side. It's the same thing. See, it's that pyramid, the all-seeing eye. That's the cornerstone, which the Jews believe that they are the cornerstone. And they're going to have their Antichrist Messiah. The body of the, the pyramid are those that are not quite as enlightened, but are under the power of that all-seeing eye. Both sides are really the same, but for the American dollar, they want to show that it's America. But it's many nations they have under their power and control. So, um, Uh, something has come up in the middle of the screen here. I don't know if it's going to show. It says, can't install updates. I don't want updates, okay? You know, it's funny. YouTube sub put some big thing under my last video about uh, their Encyclopedia Britannica's definition of the Freemasons, which is a bunch of crap, you know? And I can't get rid of it. And I looked it up and it says, why do you, are you seeing this? And you can't remove it. There's nothing you can do. Only some countries have this great privilege, they say, of having this garbage. So anyway, that's that's how it is. So so, um, uh, 
you know, that's how, that's how we know who is the head of uh, all of that stuff. Albert Pike said all the Masonic uh, symbols, doctrines, and traditions all receive their source. Their source of it all is the Jewish Kabbalah. They invented Freemasonry. Look, read the protocols of the learned elders of Zion. They keep speaking about the lodges that they created to throw dust into the eyes of their fellows. That's what the Jews do. They throw dust in the eyes of the whole world because they want to reign. They want to conquer the world. You do that, as the Mossad emblem says, by way of deception thou shalt do war. And that's what how they do their war. You know, and so uh, uh, this craftiness is it's actually uh, black magic and Satanism and sorcery. And they know what they're doing, man. All through the centuries, all the nations knew what they were doing and what they were up to. And they're full of sorcery, man. Devil worship. That was their big thing. Always been. It hasn't been till the 19th century when they've got all this power. Enough to destroy and take over Christianity. Enough to turn decent, hard Christian nation into a perverted cesspool of Sodom and Gomorrah. That's why she's called spiritually Sodom in Egypt. Yeah, that Egyptian religion. You know, they came out of Egypt, the Jews, but they wanted to go back to Egypt. God started wiping them out in the desert. You know, he says, your, your mother was a Canaanite. And your father was a, a Hittite. You're pagan. They were pagans from the very start. And they're going to try to replace the kingdom of God with their antichrist kingdom. That's what's coming. And let me, this is the point I was trying to bring out to you. Is that um, in Revelation, the 13th chapter, so it talks about this beast. This is the new world order. This is the antichrist government is speaking about. This beast in the very end times. And I stood upon the sands of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. They accused Jesus of blasphemy because he said he was the son of God. And he is the son of God. But their blasphemy is a real blasphemy that God points to and says, they're the blasphemers. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, his feet were like the feet of a bear, his mouth was uh, as the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power and his seat and his great authority. Who is the dragon? In Revelation 11th chapter says that old serpent called the devil and Satan. That's the dragon. <clears throat> 